Well, when your sprinklers work, your grass is green and life is good, but sometimes things go bump in the night, and that's what happened to me. I'm experiencing a problem with my Rainbird sprinkler system, and I think I know the fix. So I'm going to show you the fix and give you some tips on Rainbird warranty. So let's get to it. Well, this is my uh, Rainbird controller box right here. And this controls six zones for my sprinkler system. And the problem I'm experiencing right now is two of those zones are not coming on. Even when I do the manual test, it won't come on. What's going on on my sprinkler here? When I look at the zones, zone one is fine. Two, three, four. Zone five shows no mod and zone six shows no mod. So those are the two zones that will not come on. And I know what the problem is. I had this problem two and a half years ago and it's a pretty simple problem if you know what you're looking for. So I'm going to access the maintenance side of the panel. Just pull that panel out and now you're into the inside of the box which shows you some of the electronics involved. And these are what's called ESP modules. My zone five and six is on this expansion module right here, and I know that because of the color codes. I have a uh, cross-reference showing that red is five and green is six. So that module there has gone bad. I'm gonna have to replace it. But like I said, I had this problem a little over two and a half years ago, replaced the module, now the module's not working again. I purchased it off of Amazon from a seller named West Group. I went to West Group and asked them about it. And yeah, they said uh, Rainbird products have a three year warranty. And without any further questions, they said, we'll send you a new one. And about five or six days later, this new module showed up in the mail. It's the Rainbird three station module. It says three station ESP and it is uh, Compatible for my ESP-M controller here. It's what I have. It's also compatible for a couple of other Rainbird controllers, and I'll list those down in the video description below. I'm also going to provide you a link down below to this Rainbird three-station module on Amazon, just in case if you're having a similar issue, you can check these out. To change a module, all you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started and get this module changed out. First step, I'm going to go ahead and remove the power from the module just so that we don't have any chance of damaging any of the electronics in here. Removal is pretty simple on the module. We just want to take the lever and push it to the left and you'll see emblems on here. This is locked, this is unlocked, so that's locked, that's unlocked, and then slide down on the module and it comes out just like that. So let me remove these two wires. The wires are on in the same order they came out of and now I'm going to take the module, push it flush against the back with the lock in the open position, slide it up, firmly, go to lock. And it should be ready to test. I have the unit plugged back in now, and let's do the test on selecting those two modules, number five and six. There's four, five says it's ready, six says it's ready. And to test these, all you have to do is press in and hold the manual start right here. And we're successful. So the new module is working. Sprinklers are running fine now. So I want to give a shout out to the West Group, which is a good seller on Amazon. They uh, backed their product. They backed the warranty of Rainbird, which again is a three-year warranty on Rainbird products. So I'm back in business. I appreciate uh, you watching the video. If you like this, click the like button. 
And if you think you'd like to see more of these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.